Hello guys and welcome to my TypeScript series, where I talk about how to code in TypeScript. Today we're gonna talk about modules isolation. So let's start. So before I explain what module isolation is, let's create a simple module. Uh, let's call it dog module A. Okay, we have here a module isolation directory. So let's create a new file. Let's call it module uh, sorry uh, dog module A. Yes. So what we'll have in this module? We'll have a variable, let's call it dog name, and it will be named spot. Spotty. Uh, and uh, I will export from this module uh, a function. Export function change dog name, new name and what it will do, it will actually change the dog name to the new name and one more thing I will expose is uh, something to, to show the dog name so let's create a function and export it uh, log dog name and it will do console log dog module a dog name. Those of you who are not familiar with the export syntax can watch the node uh, episode uh, in the bubble that appears uh, right above here. In order to show the module isolation even better, I didn't even show it yet, but in order to show it even better, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this module and I'm gonna create dog module BTS and it will contain the same code as in module A except the dog's name will be Coco and I will when I log its name I'm gonna log it with dog module B so it's the same code except uh, how I log it and the variable name now what I'm gonna do is create another module that uses both of these modules and uh, we'll see what it will happen. So let's create a module c.ts and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna import things from dog module a and import things from dog module B. And again, those of you who are not uh, familiar with the import syntax can watch the uh, node modules episode. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna import the change dog name as change dog name A and here I'm gonna import change dog name as change dog name b I'm simply renaming them to use them differently and another thing I'm gonna change uh, the name log dog name to be log dog name a and log dog name b so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna first uh, log the names log dog name a and log dog name B. Next one I'm gonna do, I'm gonna change the names, so change dog name A, I'm gonna change it to Zeus and change dog name B, I'm gonna change it to Buddy and once again I'm gonna log them now I'm gonna compile it Okay, compile it. Now I'm going to run it. Node source uh, module isolation module CJS. So what I'm seeing here is let me just open those modules once again. So firstly, I log the dog name A. Okay, 
and it will be at an entity body. Then I locked the name of the second dog, and it is Coco. Then I changed the first name to Zeus and the second one to Buddy, and locked them in the same order. So what you can see here is exactly uh, what you expected to see: is module uh, dog module A is Buddy, dog module B Coco, and after the changing those names, it is now Zeus and Buddy. But what is so special about this code? As you can see. The dog name and the functions change dog name and log dog name in both modules are the, exactly the, the same names and are and seem to be on the global scope. For example, if uh, uh, here it's known, but uh, if you're loading those scripts in uh, in uh, in the browser, uh, there will be actually uh, when they're loaded, they will uh, probably you'd see, think they'll be on the window object. But because of how uh, modules work, uh, they actually won't be on the, on the window, on the global scope, they'll be isolated. So even if you compile them and run them in the browser, uh, they will be isolated and the result will be the same. Let me just uh, show you what I mean. Let's compile it using, no, sorry, not package.json, tsconfig. Let's compile it not to common JS. Let's compile it to uh, UMD. Okay, so I'll compile it now, and I'm gonna look at the generated code for the yeah. Now I can see it for the dog module A. So what I can see here, the dog name here, okay, it is actually inside a function. So now it is not a global variable, it is a local variable for the function and no one except uh, things that are in, the, in this function uh, can see it. Uh, so it cannot uh, be mistaken with the dog name in the module B. Same thing will happen if I compile it to the system. module and after it runs and compiles wait for it wait for it and will change in a second yeah and it changed so here you can see the dog name where is it here it's a once again inside this function okay so it once again not a global variable, it actually a local variable of a function. So they, uh, the, the dog names inside two different modules, uh, there are different things and uh, if, it doesn't matter how uh, you run uh, those modules, in what order you load them, uh, the dog names and uh, the exported functions uh, will be different functions and uh, depending on how you import them, uh, they will be used differently. You have watched an episode about modules and relation in TypeScript. Let me know what you think about it by leaving a comment in the comment section down below. You can watch more TypeScript videos by clicking here or trust YouTube by knowing what you really want and click over here. If you want to watch other code related videos, check out my channel and feel free to subscribe. See you later on Program Artist.